Hey everybody, this is Pat Crary over at Love Our Planet Adventures. I finally got the battery in from FedEx. Thank you, FedEx. They did a good job. UPS could not deliver it. FedEx did it in record time. It's supposed to come in on Monday and it's Saturday. So, I mean, these guys, I want to applaud FedEx for getting this battery sent to me. Uh, they even, uh, Mission Battery Company is the company that I went through. And I'm going to unravel this thing pretty quick. It's inside this box. They sent me some uh, cables, some positive uh, six, six gauge, six aug uh, wire. I'm going to put two of them together to make one um, and then two uh, negative white wires. But the cool part about it is, is that I'm going to parallel these batteries together. So you guys, so I get 200 amp hours instead of 100 amp hours. So that refrigerator can run all night no problems at all store some more power so I'll be putting this battery in and hooking those wires up uh, really soon I'm gonna move this out of the way here pop this out and I'll show you I'm using, using some big boy wires there two aug uh, right there See right there positive and the negative they're gonna be the parallel hookup for this uh, here yeah, there's my fuse. I'm gonna show you guys a 170 watt, or no, it's a 200 watt um, fuse for the inverter. So I will hit, hook those up, and uh, this is all going to a uh, bus bar that's hooked up all my other stuff here. I'll show you guys here this in a little bit. Got a bus bar right here for that one, and for the charger, everything's separate, which is really nice. I tried a single bus bar, it didn't really work that great. Um, but it's, yeah, this is going to be gr great. And then the cool part about it is, is this, this company um, that I got this battery, and I want to thank uh, Mission uh, Mission Battery for um, their helpful um, getting this battery to me, because they had a lot of trouble with UPS. I mean, I wanted to go pick it up, I couldn't pick it up. So uh, they gave me a good deal on this other uh, battery here, um, so I could parallel it, so I can do this install. But they have a lot of gui guidelines. Lithium batteries have special disposal, special kind of charging, special kind of chargers to use. You need to go by their recommendations. It's fully charged. This one at 13.4. Um, you have to use a lithium charger. You can't use, the, like I said, a regular battery charger that has like an equalization mode. You can't leave the, them on um, the whole time either. So very important to do that. But there's a lot of instructions. I mean, they got a lot of stuff here. Charging temperature, when to ch uh, charge the battery, how to do it, and everything. So if you are planning on getting lithium batteries, I mean, they have a lot of stats on here of what you need to do and what temperature uh, that you need to do it. Uh, lithium holds voltage 13 volts. Some lead acid chargers don't work. Uh, bulk charging, absorption charging stages. So I use the Genie right here, and it has a lithium mode on it. So that works really well to do it right. And um, it tells you a lot of the voltage here, too, of what you got to do. So Mission Mission Battery Company, I think it gets sent from Texas. They did record time in getting this sent out here. So I'm going to start doing this install here pretty quick, okay? Talk to you soon. Okay, here is that battery. I got the battery out of the box. There it is, wrapped up really good. They use a lot of um, styrofoam here. Uh, you know, if they can deliver cell phone batteries, they could deliver this. It's just, it's just you know, 100 amp, 30, 30 pounds. It's identical to this one right here. So, okay, so I'm going to start unpacking this and start getting it hooked up. Okay, so now I've got the battery out. I've got these two wires. So I'm going to parallel these, positive and negative, positive and negative. So it'll go right over there to those right there like that. And uh, the bus bar. So one thing you want to do too also is uh, a lot of people, you know, you can do this if you want to. I've, I've heard a lot of people that say that you should do it. And some people say not a big deal. But if I've got this battery getting charged from there, it has to go all the way over there to charge the other one. You should hook up battery cables to each battery to there where the charge is at. So basically I'm going to hook this one up. To this one and then these wires I'll go up like this and show you these wires right here are going to go 
to this battery also so that way they get the even charge when they're charging so i'm going to show you that here in a little bit like i said that bus bar really comes in handy over there it's got everything my charger on there the whole work so and then uh but yeah i'm going to start hooking these up show you guys what's going on here oh and by the way look at my uh 40 amp charge controller now i can run 520 watts of solar that's awesome right there that wasn't very much more just for that 40 amp, so that's good to overkill just in case I want to add. So so here I am in the dark. I'm taking this one off. <clears throat> this one, I'm going to hook up these uh, dual cables uh, right there. I made sure I took the negative off. The negative is off. So always do your negative. Make sure to turn all your power off, too. My uh, <clears throat> disconnect switch is off, so I got that taken care of, too. Yeah, you don't want anything. You don't want to blow anything up, so... Okay, so I got those clamped down right there. You can see that. I'm using one of my tap lights right here to use it, which is really neat. I'll tell you what, if you have a, a cargo trailer, RV, whatever, battery-powered tap lights or something like that come in handy all for emergency. So, a lot. So, um, so here's the two. This is going to be equivalent, these two together, as like a two-aug wire which is this size right here, these big ones. So putting these together, that's all Mission Battery had. I said, why don't you just send me out two AUG? They said, we don't have them, so you just put two of them together, and there you go. Those will go over here. So those two will go right there, and um, we'll be good right there. So 